Okay, today I'm going to be uh, replacing my old Craftsman garage door opener from 1987. Ah, smell the 80s goodness. This thing is house original. Uh, with a brand new Whisper Drive Chamberlain uh, battery backup garage door opener. Um, the most important thing about this is it does not come with the internet gateway and in today's world you probably want that because you can set up scheduling to make sure your door is shut at night and it can send you alerts if the door opens during the day while you're at work or whatnot. Um, but this video is not going to be really me installing this. It's going to be more about how I mounted it to even make it quieter. Um, so I'll get right to it. The stuff I used for this was bolts, washers, lock nuts, angle iron, and a couple of pipe couplers. Um, I cut the angle iron down with a sawzall and I discarded the uh, uh, hose clamps off the couplers and I bolted everything together like this. I just uh, drilled quarter inch holes in the uh, pipe couplers and uh, bolted the bolts through with uh, flat washers on the inside and the on the top of the uh, of the uh, angle iron and I lock washered everything together so it should hold pretty good. Um, if you are in a uh, uh, earthquake prone area you might want to add a piece of aircraft cable just to make sure this doesn't uh, come loose in an earthquake. All right, so here it is installed. As you can kind of see I have the uh, two uh, rubber um, pipe things screwed onto the uh, support structure of the garage door opener. And then uh, I have the, uh, so basically vibration isolation to the, uh, to the ceiling there. Um, also got my conduit all run. This this conduit here, this wire here, runs over to my uh, door switch, my my switch at my um, inside door uh, for opening the garage door, and then the the other conduit that goes along here goes over and uh, splits across and goes to the uh, two uh, beam brake sensors for uh, the door reversal. So, she's all installed, and she is very quiet. I also wanted to mention that I purchased this garage door opener um, and nobody gave it to me and it's I'm not doing a review on it I'm just uh, kind of showing you a way to further isolate the noise of the garage door opener this is I did this because my bedroom is directly above the garage door opener and so my wife got a new job and she's leaving early in the morning and obviously it would make a lot of noise when the old chain drive uh, worn out garage door opener from 1987 would open the garage door in the morning. Uh, there's more I can do to quiet the garage door by replacing the um, the the wheels and and stuff on the on the tracks um, to further quiet it. But it's it's cool. it's it's majorly reduced. The noise is majorly reduced right now um, between the quietness of this this particular door opener and the uh, rubber isolation I did when I mounted it. Okay, we're entering the sanctum. Behold! The furnace room. The place where dad comes to fix the internet when it's broken. I have a cable modem, a router, ethernet switch, a couple of uh, 
POE adapters, a whole bunch of crap plugged in, and the newest addition, the Chamberlain MyQ thing, thingamabobber, um, that talks to the garage door opener, interfaces the garage door opener to the internet. One day I'll kind of clean this up, I think, maybe. But basically all these wires here are going up to the attic. And uh, so I got coax and I got ethernet. And then uh, same here, this stuff kind of goes into the living room. So my antenna comes down here uh, from the roof. Don't have cable TV. Cruises into a big splitter, splits out to all the rooms in the house that have TVs. Um, the Ethernet come or the uh, Comcast comes into the cable modem, out of the cable modem into the router, out of the router into the Ethernet switch, and then a lot of stuff's hardwired. I prefer hardwired over Wi-Fi just because it's a more reliable connection and faster. Um, but I do have this yellow wire here it Goes to a PoE injector that goes up to the attic where the WAP is for Wi-Fi and I got a new WAP a little bit ago, and it's working a lot better than my old WAP and so uh, Wi-Fi has become much more reliable in the household here But anyways, I wanted to show you this little box. So this is the Chamberlain Uh, my Q uh, Wi-Fi gateway or it somehow it talks to the uh, garage door opener I can't quite figure out from the documentation whether it's talking over Wi-Fi or over Zigbee or some other type of communication but it plugs in down here and what wirelessly talks to the uh, garage door opener I am thinking about buying this uh, Wi-Fi light switch also for the front porch lighting. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'm also on Patreon.